At the dawn of radio astronomy, astronomers began to discover strange objects that stunned them with their anomalous properties. The sources of radiation from these objects were not visible in optical light, and they shone very brightly only in the radio range and at many different frequencies. Their emission spectrum was unlike anything else, which made it impossible to understand their nature. At the same time, the object was located at a tremendous distance from us because there was a very large redshift. The first assumptions about what these objects might be were quite varied, ranging from white holes to the edge of a wormhole. But as it later turned out, the source of this unusual radiation is matter from an accretion disk falling onto a supermassive black hole. Thus, a quasar is located in the center of a galaxy and emits more energy than the entire galaxy in which it is located. Because of this, the radiation from the stars or matter of the galaxy itself is not even observed. The emission spectrum of quasars is broad, spanning the X-ray to the infrared. In addition, quasars are also active sources of gamma rays. A quasar is accessible for observation even to an amateur astronomer. With a telescope that has an aperture that is the diameter of the primary mirror or lens of about 300 millimeters, it is already possible to see quasars that have a stellar magnitude of about plus 14. In the optical range, they appear rather faint from Earth due to their enormous distance. But still, why are they so bright? The energy of the radiation is produced in the accretion disk of the black hole through the rotation and the enormous friction of the material. A supermassive black hole can convert from 5 to 32% of the mass of the material into energy, which is tens of times more than the process of nuclear fusion in the depths of stars like our Sun.